A matrix Q is called orthogonal if its columns are orthonormal. Basically, the lengths of the columns are equal to the 1 and they are orthogonal to each other. So basically, Q1 transposed to the Q1 is equal to the Q2 transposed to the Q2, which are giving the lengths of the Q1 and lengths of the Q2 is equal to the 1. And Q1 transposed to the Q2 is equal to the 0 since they are orthogonal. So what we would like to do is if you are given some matrix M with the two non-orthogonal vectors A and B, we would like to obtain some matrix Q, which is going to be orthogonal vector, orthogonal matrix with the orthonormal vectors. So on the first step, so if we are given the two vectors A and B, I would like to find two orthogonal vectors. So from this image, we can see that I can draw this vector, I can create this vector. So if I project this vector B onto this A, this vector is going to be P, and this vector, which is the subtraction of the B minus P, is the perpendicular vector to the A. Right? So I'm going to take these two vectors, this vector and this vector, as the two orthogonal vectors. So basically on the first step, I'm going to say that A is equal to the small a, and B is equal to the B minus P, and I'm going to create the temporary matrix with the two orthogonal columns, A and B. And on the second step, what we're going to do is, we're going to normalize them, so making the lengths to be equal to the 1 in order to create the orthogonal uh, matrix. So the Q1 is going to be equal to the A divided to the norm of the A, and Q2 is equal to the B divided to the norm of the B, and they are going to be the columns of the orthogonal matrix, Q1 and Q2. So this process, this algorithm is called the Gram-Schmidt algorithm. So what happens if our matrix has three columns? So M has the three columns, A, B, and C, so what we are going to do is, on the first step, we are going to obtain the three vectors, big A, big B, and big C, which are going to be orthogonal to each other. Then on the second step, we are going to just normalize them so that they become orthonormal. So again, so the big A is going to be simply small a, so the first column of the M. Big B is going to be a vector which is going to be perpendicular to the A. So, which can be obtained as B minus the projection of the B onto the A, right? So please note that the projection of the B onto the A can be found using the formula A transposes the B divided to the A transposes the A multiplied to the A. Now we're going to obtain this vector C, which is going to be perpendicular to the B and A in this way. So C minus the projection of the C onto the B is going to be a vector which is perpendicular to the B. If I would like to make this orthogonal to the A itself, A as well, so we are going to subtract the projection of the C onto the A as well. So this is going to be C minus, so sorry, so here we need to make this big B and big A, because this C, the new vector C, should be orthogonal to the big B and big A. So C minus B transposed to the C divided to the B transposed to the B multiplied to the B, it's a projection of the C onto the big B vector, minus A transposed to the C divided to the A transposed to the A multiplied to the A, it's going to be the projection of this vector C onto this big matrix A. So let's, <coughs> and on the second step, we're going to just normalize them. So the Q1 is going to be the A divided to the norm of the A. Q2 is equal to the B divided to the norm of the B. And Q3 is equal to the C divided to the norm of the C. So let's do an example. 